Good morning from Shalom Acres. I want to give you a little bit of an update on one of the benefits we see from sheep. And it's, uh, I think it really helps out with your pasture a whole lot when you're not uh, a person who doesn't want to spray a bunch of chemicals. And I think it really comes down to the fact that it seems like sheep do not compete real well with uh, cows as far as when it comes to what they eat. So we got a little bit of a glare of the sun back there. We'll see. So these are our these are our little uh, little ram lambs. Uh, one of them is actually going to become our new our new ram for the for the homestead here in the next few weeks. What I wanted to show is they've been in this area now for about two days, and I'll show you the new area they're going to actually go into in the next two or three days. You can see how, how this area here has been cut down over all the amount of weeds and stuff like that that's growing in it are a lot less. And if you look over here you can see quite a bit of taller taller items. Let's see if you go in here we can start zooming in. There's some some different types of weeds. You, know, you can see them right up in there. One of the benefits we see here is how well they help our pasture. So we don't have to spray any any type of herbicides or, or anything like that. And it's really been a blessing for our, for our house and our, our family because people come up here and look at our pastures. And they're like, how do you not have weeds? You know, do you spray grays on and all those types of things? And I'll be honest with you, uh, I never really thought about it too much till this year uh, when when we've really intermingled, you know, for the last few years we've had cows and sheep intermingled and now we've got some chickens, you know, that are all intermingled in here too. And it's amazing. I think that that cycle is really good. I think it's just like what Jill Salton's doing except for we're doing it a little bit, a little bit different instead of having them in, in cages and in smaller amounts of cages, we're actually just putting them in uh, pens that are about a third acre size, give them a great opportunity to free range and really allow them to, uh, to just do what they're supposed to do out in nature. For our family it's just been, uh, it's just been, it's just been great to watch and see. Here's the, I'll show you one of the pens that they just came from and the height of the grass and stuff like that. You can see you can see here's here's the pen that they're in and this weed here that otherwise you'd have to spray or do other things with because our cows won't eat it. You can see the sheep, you know, they knock the tops out of it. So and you can look over here in this pasture. They've really done a nice job of taking it down. And we put them in here for about four, maybe five days. And this one was overgrown just like the one they're getting ready to move into. But uh, it's really it's really been a good blessing. And I don't know what the exact number of sheep is as far as, you know, for, for your property. I know on average a cow eats between 30 and 50 pounds of grass a day. And a sheep eats between 3 and 5. So if you do the math, you know, you should be able to get 10 sheep roughly for every, for every cow. But I will also share with you that sheep will multiply a whole lot faster than what your cows will. So just watch those numbers and make sure that you're not getting yourself overrun uh, too quickly because it could end up being a problem then on your homestead. Hope this helps. Those of you out there uh, with sheep, some of you are probably saying, what does sheep taste like? I've never had lamb. You know, have I had mutton? Um, and I'll be honest with you, our family almost prefers lamb now even over beef. It's, uh, it really is amazing. I mean, we still butcher a cow and, you know, we still do other things like that. But when it's time to eat, and uh, even even some amazing uh, hamburgers, um, I guess they're called lamb burgers now, uh, it really comes from lamb. It doesn't necessarily come from, from beef. And the consistency of the meat has a little bit of a lighter color to it. Um, and But the, of course the size of the animal would be you know equal to a, a decent sized deer. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully it gives you an opportunity to, if you have never tried lamb, to want to branch out and try some lamb. If you have any questions, feel free to write them on the bottom. Really appreciate you watching. 
uh, and subscribing to our channel. Hope you have a great day. Shalom.